You know, I was having so much fun playing Mario Kart 8 with all the booster pass courses that we did together. And I was like, I don't want to stop playing this game just yet. And then I had the idea, what if we actually go through and try to like fully beat the game? Not just beat the game, but also complete the game. And obviously that entails, you can see with the trophies at the bottom, getting three stars gold trophies on every single cup. And the only way you could do that is by getting first place in each of the four races which will give you a total of 60 points. Now, the trick here is that there are different sets of trophies. So Mirror is separate from 150 CC. So if you beat a course in 150 CC, it doesn't mean that you get the same trophy for the Mirror. You have to do each of these separately. And you can see that we went through and did all the uh, all the gold trophies for the, the courses in the Booster Pass as well. But once you get 150, it overrides or it counts for 100 cc and 50 cc it kind of treats all of these as a group right so if you get a gold trophy in 100 cc it's going to give you that same gold trophy for 50 cc but if you just do all of them on 150 cc then you don't even have to worry about playing the game at 100 or at 50 cc just because the game is pretty similar now the interesting thing is mirror is a different set of trophies so like i said if you beat everything on 150 cc you do have to go in separately beat everything on mirror so we've done all of that we've cleared the entire game up to 150 cc now 200 cc is the only thing that i haven't yet knocked out uh, if you look at these are all the booster pass courses i almost cut all of them clear um the only one that i haven't been able to do is there's this one super annoying course oh you can see my build here i have master cycle zero the gla tires and the hillian kite with baby rosalina I love Rosalina. The only one that I haven't been able to do is the Rock Cup, and that's because of the final freaking course, Maple Treeway. I'm always able to ace the first three courses just fine, and for whatever reason, I just can't get myself to beat the Maple Treeway. I don't know what it is. I've gotten second place on it um, a couple of times, but um, <laughs> maybe I'll come back to it at some point because it'd be a, it'd be a shame to leave just one of them undone here. However, I have not actually gone through and done 200 cc on all of these ones yet. Yeah, you can see there's a couple of them that I've gotten the gold trophy on, but I thought it'd be fun to go through and revisit all of the OG courses in this game. And the advantage to doing so is that if you get at least, I had to look this up, there is an unlockable. If you get at least one gold star, and we're obviously gonna shoot for three, but if you get at least one gold star on each of the cups, then there is an unlockable character that we get, even though there's very, very few big, big unlockables in this game. So I was like, you know what? That's an excuse for us to keep keep on playing the game. So let's go ahead and do it. This one's going to be the Mushroom Cup, it's Mario Kart Stadium, Water Park, Sweet Sweet Canyon, and the Thwomp Ruins. this is Mario Kart Stadium. This is like a perfect first course to start off a game, really. And a lot of these tracks I haven't played in a really, really long time. Some of them I had to go through and play recently because I wanted to get the trophies on 150cc. But I definitely have not played these on 200cc, so I'm looking forward to them. Oh my god, my controller's stuck there. 200 CC, it is a lot easier to lose the lead if you're in first place, but obviously the inverse is also true. If you are further back or if you mess up early, just because the course goes so fast, it is pretty easy to catch up as well if you're if you're playing well, that is. So as far as tracks go, this is a, a like a standard one. I should also add, I think I mentioned this before while we were doing the booster course, but the key to, to mastering 200cc, because I think most people who play this for the first time, they're just thrown off by how fast it goes. The key is you have to be braking. If you don't brake, you, you can't really do anything at 200cc, because every turn is just going to come at you too fast. Like that turn, I was able to make no problem. But you'll see... I don't know, my control is stuck again. Dang, I'm getting killed out here. 
But that somehow worked out because the blue shell chose somebody else to target. Like this turn coming up is wide enough that yeah, you can just drift and be fine. But there's some other ones where you really want to be able to break fully. Or not fully, but at least a substantial amount. And you have to utilize every kind of surface available to you that you could trick off of. So that's why I think they went through the effort of making 150cc entirely different from 200cc. They are truly different games entirely. You could play 150cc, you'd be really good at all the courses, and then play 200cc and just be terrible. if you Because it's a different set of mechanics you have to get used to. So good overall track to start us off. Um, nothing, nothing fancy there. The anti-gravity sections are are pretty fun when your wheels you know turn sideways and all that. This one right here is going to be the water park and sub coaster. I think we spend some time on the roller coaster here, which is interesting for a water park to have a roller coaster. You wouldn't think that that's really something that happens all that much. We can get anti-gravity going right by hitting any of those things. For a long time, I didn't know when I first started playing the game. We're talking, you know, nine years ago or whenever this game came out now. Um, and you can see, by the way, on all these hairpin turns, I have to break if I'm trying to avoid going off of the um, off on the side where you're not going to be quite as fast. But yeah, when I first started playing this game, I didn't know that you're actually supposed to crash into some of these these things because they will give you a little bit of a boost and put you into that, that anti-gravity mode like this right there. This one's fun. They have like a, see there's like, I had to break, I, I had my finger mashed on the B button there to try and break in time. I like the little roller coaster you have to duck under, that's a nice, nice touch there. I'm not a huge fan of the bomb item just because I don't know what to do with it, regardless of what place I'm in. I could be in 10th place or 1st place, I never feel like it, always, it, it ever meets what I need to do. Um, the best use I have for it is if there's a green shell or a red shell that's coming at you, you just release it behind you and hope that um, hope that it is able to, to knock it out. But obviously the red shells are designed to avoid obstacles. so. Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. There's not really a, a trend either way. That little, I, I still don't know what that item is called. The sound wave item is uh, my favorite item just because it's, it's so versatile. You can use it as like a get away from me. You could use it to knock out a green shell, red shell behind you. You could use it to knock out a spiny shell or a blue shell as well. So it's, that one's my favorite one. All right, this one's Sweet Sweet Canyon. Thematically, this is probably the most uh, fun one of this entire uh, this cup here. I should also mention there are other unlockables. So this one right here will unlock a new character. This whole odyssey that we're embarking on right now to get at least one star in each of the 200 CC courses that will unlock a character for us. However, there is a whole like gold vehicle build that you can unlock. And that's done so. We already actually have um, the gold cart, and that's by uh, getting at least uh, one star in each of the um, in each of the mirror courses, 150cc mirror, uh, which we we took care of. So we were able to unlock the gold cart there. Oh my god! All right, not a good start. And then you can you can unlock a corresponding like gold tire and gold parachute. I think for the gold set of tires, um, you have to actually uh, you have to do the time trials and beat all of the staff ghosts. But I was like, I, I'm not doing all that work for just to get a pair of tires. Goodness, I'm getting killed out here. Because it's basically like what we're going to be doing right now is working our way through the entire um, the entire game and. You have to do that again just to, to beat the time trials is like doesn't seem that fun. Yeah, so you see how there we went from like first to sixth or whatever and then we're able to come back pretty easily. I don't have a 
defense right now, so let's, let's try and remedy that. Obviously not breaking any news here. Oh my god, I did not see that turn. Um, yeah, I haven't played these courses. Some of these courses I haven't played in a very long time. Somehow I'm third. What is happening? Oh, wow. Dang, that third came out of nowhere. Okay, that's really disappointing. Um, I think I'll still be able to get one star. So the scoring rules... I think you can get one third place and still get one star on the um, on the cup. Darn it! Sucks to be going into the last race and, and knowing you have to get a first place. Yeah, that, that botched turn really, really killed me. If you don't know the course, that's the thing about 200cc also is I think they assume that you've already played the course on 150. Because I think, I can't remember whether, whether 200 is unlocked from the beginning of the game. I don't remember that. But either way, I think they assume you've played uh, at 150cc, so you're generally familiar with the course. But yeah, missing turns like that is pretty, pretty stupid and pretty costly. Yeah, see that? Oh my goodness. I'm just playing sloppy out here. That's okay. Let's see if we can keep this red shell. Yeah, see, if, if you... I found that spending time in the air on the parachute is actually not very helpful. Like you don't, you actually want to spend a very, very minimal amount of time in the air, unless there's a specific reason that you're doing so. Just because if you're on the ground, I think your ground speed is faster than your airspeed generally. And if you're on the ground, usually those those parachutes go over like a lot of like obstacles and stuff. But if you're on the ground, you can actually trick off of a bunch of stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> Terrible. Wonderful. I just use my, uh, I just use my shroom, and then I got smoked. All right, we're sixth place. This should be, should be generally doable if I don't make any more stupid mistakes here. This will push us up to second. All right, and then I kind of don't want to use this right now. I kind of want to save it. Okay, yeah, good thing I did. We, we didn't need that at all. All right, yeah, we're rolling. Hold out the red shell. See, I should have dived immediately because it was a, a little ramp that I could have tricked off of. Okay. All right, that's a little bit, a little, a little disappointing start there. I did want to comment on the Sweet Seat Canyon. I, I love the the courses that have just one cohesive theme, uh, running all through them and just having like this. Dessert theme. There's like a, there's that point where you are just uh, are drifting on on a donut. And then you're like in a in a. I, I think that a river at the very end is like a a river of soda. I want to say, that's what it seems like. That's definitely my favorite course of the bunch. For the booster pass courses, I was going uh, one cup at a time because I really want to take the time to to appreciate. All of them, but I think for this we can uh, we can do a, a handful, maybe just a couple in a video. So we'll do the flower cup here. This is Mario Circuit, Toad Harbor, Twisted Mansion, and the Shy Guy Falls. I think with all these, they always start out like uh, pretty basic stuff. You can see Peach's castle is kind of nestled in the middle there. That's fun. So we had Mario Stadium, and now we have Mario Circuit. I don't know what makes them necessarily Mario, you know? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Keep getting a bad start. <laughs> Like embarrassingly bad. That's all right. It's actually kind of fun to, to play f more from behind, just because you get better items instead of having to, to mess with like mushrooms or uh, mess with the uh, bananas and green shells the whole time. Usually they have like just two good CPUs. 
the rest of them you don't really you can you can just like drive past or drift past. Go. Okay, we have a flower, which is a pretty good item to have while you're in first place. You got a break on that one. Ah, and that cost me. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's tough right there. Now I'm way behind. No matter, we're still in lap two. Well, there's Link there. Alright. Okay, yeah, they just unforced air that themselves. And we have a red shell and a banana. Okay, so item-wise, we're feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that second that second uh, boost there. Because that just puts us in a bad position for the turn. This is gonna be... We're good, man. Good stuff. Yeah, I kind of wish I started out further back, but obviously when you start in, in the front of the pack, it doesn't make sense to slow down. Just to try and get some better items. I wonder if there is some game theory to that. Like if there's a if there's an optimal spot probability wise based on which items you have the the chance of getting. It's like, oh, should you start in in third or fourth? Alright, we got the Toad Harbor here. This one, it has a bunch, you saw the trolleys in that little overhead shot. It feels very, like, kind of San Francisco-esque. Oh, wow, you... I think, yeah, I'm used to getting both of those boosts, but I guess at 200, you just fly right over. All right, we gotta avoid this guy and his bananas. Okay. Somehow we pulled that off. Let's see what this... Oh, my God. Bad, bad, bad. All right, he's holding a banana, so I can't red shell him just yet. Oh, God. All right. Get both. Okay, so that one we can get both. But I didn't. Oh my god. I didn't trick off of that. Let's buy ourselves some space here. We'll almost just bump them too. Get out of the way. Alright, I can't. I wasn't in position to get the boost there. But yeah, I guess if we're only getting one boost instead of both of them, that path is just less optimal overall. Yeah, I have to look at the, um, the the average times for 150cc versus uh, 200. Like, what's the average time it takes to complete a course? At yeah, that time, I, I couldn't get that second boost there either. I don't know why that was. Maybe, maybe if I don't trick off of the first one? I don't know. Oh no, stupid. Alrighty. Alright, let's start. Some, some shutout baseball here. The biggest challenge is honestly not getting hit by the trolleys. So in the booster pass, they don't have like a, a San Francisco based uh, course that was inspired by Mario Kart Tour or anything. But this is the closest you get to San Francisco, just with like the... The Fisherman's, they don't actually have an explicit Fisherman's Wharf, but they have this whole, um, this whole waterfront area. They kind of have something that looks like McCovey Cove with the boats. Maybe if they had a baseball stadium, it would look more like a, a specific homage, but... This is Twisted Mansion. Very similar to well, I guess I was I was gonna call it Luigi's Mansion off of memory, but yeah, I guess it's not it's not really Luigi's Mansion themed specifically. It's more of a it's more Boo themed than it is like Luigi themed, even though obviously Boo is that the villain of that game. And yeah, you can trick off of that rippling carpet, which I just missed. I think both the trick opportunities I had a little bit harder to time that at at 200. Right, get these tight corners here. Ah, and in breaking time, lost my boost. I do like the skeletal fish. Those are fun. Ah! Oh god, darn it, that was another turn coming. 
There we go. Got one trick that time out of the two available to us. Well, not that I'm breaking any news by saying something that's kind of obvious, but um, especially if you're in the lead a lot, you kind of do have to get uh, you have to get the, the double item boxes because usually with how how frequently they give you coins when you're in first place, you have to have you have to you have to have uh, certainty that there's one defensive item that you have available. See, like right there. I was too busy focusing on the red shell, so I didn't. Oh, darn it. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of using the little sound box on the red shell, because I'm like, oh, what if there's a blue shell there? And the blue shell is. The only item that can defeat the blue shell is that sound box. But I wonder, wh which one actually costs you more time? Is it. Does getting red shelled cost you more time, or is it the same, or... I'm not sure. Okay, we're doing much better. Playing a lot more cleanly those last two races. So yeah, I think... For... If we're trying to get two stars, the gold and two stars, you can only get one second place and the rest first places. And then if we're going for one star, not that we're going for one star, but if we have either two second places or one third place, then that'll give us one star. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. A lot of hairpins. Yep, right there. I right, gotta be better about breaking. Use up two bananas, knocking people out behind me. Boom. Let's get that double item. Yeah, I would, I would, I would even prioritize getting that double item box instead of. Taking the boost. Ah, that is tough. That is tough. Alright, in fourth place, I'm just gonna let that banana go. Normally, I'd hold on to that as a defensive item, but playing from behind, you have to be a little bit more aggressive here. I oh, missed the double item there. It's fine, we're okay. Yeah, when you trick, there are a lot of spaces where you're supposed to be able to get two boosts, but. Okay, there we go. I was gonna crash into that if he didn't, so. Thought he did. Yeah, so I have this bomb, which I really don't like having, so I'm going to let go of it here and hope I don't get a coin. Because the bomb is more useful than a coin, obviously, but... And, of course, I end up with a coin. I got booed. There. And I do prefer taking this bottom route. I don't remember... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. All right, so we got the double item after watching that move. And let's get out of the way. I knew, yeah, he was holding the red shot. I, I, I love the, I think it's a Mario Kart 8 thing, right? I don't think be before you're able to see what items other people have, but now they kind of, the characters, the little sprites, they hold them in hand. So now you can actually see what they're doing. Yeah, see, let me get the double item here. Oh my goodness, okay. Now we're, now we're in the shit. out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Give me them three stars. Yeah, that one's tricky. I don't know if they designed it this way, but there are a lot of courses, or a lot of uh, cups in this game where that final course is... seems to be the hardest. I've, I've definitely had difficulty more with the final course. Except for Rainbow Roads. I think I'm pretty good at Rainbow Roads overall, but... That's a that's definitely a fun, um, a fun course, the Shy Guy Falls. I think that's... Uh, between that, that and Toad Harbor, I would say, are my two favorite ones of that cup. Twisted Mansion's alright, you just spend a lot of time underwater, and it's like very confined, very claustrophobic. Thematically, it's cool. I think I lean towards Shy Guy Falls as being the most fun one. You have like multiple levels, a little bit of divergence pathway, different ways you can go. Okay, we got the three stars there. That looks great. Alright, next we are going to go for the Star Cup. So 
So that's Sunshine Airport, Dolphin Shoals, the Electrodome, and Mount Wario. And I already know Mount Wario is is the the biggest pitfall that we're gonna have in terms of getting our perfect game here. Sunshine Airport is really fun. I love this one a lot. Just having the planes taken off and there's like a extended flying sequence. You go from like the cramped area of the airport, you can see all like the check in counters, you see Galaxy Air there. It's like alright, the loading docks. That's super cool. You go right through the plane. You gotta go right right inside the plane even. And then you, you take this super fun route all the way up to the top, and then we can fly down right onto the runway here. See, I want to I want to touch down that first second that I possibly can. Ah, tough. All right. Use my red shell here because I'm being impatient. Did he block that? I can't. I didn't. I didn't even see if that made contact. Alright. Uh, yeah, all these courses I used to know so well, especially these ones from the first, you know, eight cups because that was like what was included in the base game before the first set of DLC. Okay. I don't have any defenses. So that's gonna hit. Of plants gone. Alright. Should be smooth sailing from here. We have a defense. Okay, I was about to say we have a defense against the blue shell, but now the defense is gone, so hopefully we don't get blue shelled here. Almost there. Boom. Good start. That's a super cool course. I think overall, this whole cup is really, really fun. I don't think there's a a bomb really in any of the any of the courses here. The next one, Dolphin Shoals, like getting to ride on the eel and getting to boost off of all those underwater little vents there. And you have like, yeah, the actual dolphins that are jumping through the rings. There's that big eel. That's so fun. You get to see all like the colorful coral and you know shrubbery on the side. All the all the little toads are wearing the snorkels or the whatever the scuba gear, whatever you call that. Okay, I missed that second boost. Oh, see. Goodness. Took forever for that red shell to reach me. Yeah, just keep boosting off of the the tail of this eel here. Like a double item, I don't think I'll get it in time. Alright, well I blew myself up. That was I was trying to release it right behind me to get that red shell out of the way, but that was not the cards there. Double boost. Look at him or me? Nice. That's perfect. You see, in 150cc, you need to to get two of those little vents to make it across. And here, if you're going so fast, you only need one. Which is great. Yeah, this track goes super quick. Yeah, getting that off of the uh, off of the landing, making that turn is not easy at all. Uh, yep, see that's good enough right there. All right, we should be. Smooth here. 
You know what? I probably should just let. I, I, it's so instinctive for me to, to try and come back to the ground after getting that that launch. But given how tight those turns are, that is one of those ones where I should fly for a little bit longer and just fly right over those turns. It's just so instinctive for me to try and try and touch ground, touch grass as quickly as possible. Alright, this is going to be race number three. I believe this is Electrodome. Yeah. This is just a gigantic club. It's like indoor and outdoors. <clears throat> I wonder if they had like a specific club in mind when they were, were putting this together. Yeah, got the gigantic disco ball going. Got that huge screen. Hella huge screens all the way around. Yeah, I can't tell what this this pink green thing is like. This duality, like, are we on a guitar? Because of the yeah, I can't, I, maybe yeah, it's probably an electric guitar, right? Because it's called the Electrodome. I'm guessing that's what they're going for. Oh my god! Darn it! Ah, uh, I let I let the um that green shell go for no reason. Okay, uh, that was very badly played. Okay, the blue shell wanted to take a piece out of me on the way forward. Oh my god, it's two bombs. All right. All right, let's get this double item. One of them should be a red shell if we. Hold on, now I'm in first, so maybe not. Green shell, mushroom. Let's hold on to the green shell. I could just burn the green shell right now if I wanted to just use the mushroom. Which, oh my goodness. Come on, man. Come on. Alright, I kind of want to... I don't want to use it now. I don't know if that was a smart use, but... But we got a red shell, so it, the RNG kind of worked out for us. Don't know if that was a smart decision in the moment here. To burn it there. Oh no. It's a little bit too close for comfort. This stage in the... Did we just get double lightning? I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Okay, I'm just holding this out in case someone's close behind me. Alright. Not bad at all. But we got the tough one here. Matt Wario, I think this is the one that is all the way down. It's not three separate laps. I believe it's just one continuous ride. You start at the top of the mountain. Yep, and you make your way all the way down. Yeah, you can see the ending there. It doesn't loop into something else. This is definitely um, the best course in the cup. And it's also the most, uh, the most difficult, in my opinion. Yeah, you end up going through like a cave and it's it's just a fun it's just a blast I think here okay oh no okay yes it's already lap two now we go inside this cave here Gravity is all, all jacked up. Now I'm just kind of pinballing off of the walls here. Hope my momentum doesn't fucking. Bl oh my god! I forgot about that. That's a sharp turn that you have to know is there if you try to nail that. All right, so we gotta get. Yep, gotta get all three boosts. All right, this is the hardest part right here, in my opinion, to not get messed up in. Yeah, this I can't afford, as I don't have enough of a lead to... Well, maybe I do. I'm still in first. Just gotta play clean from here on out. And I hope I don't get... <laughs> Blue shell is the most important thing. It's only so clean I can play if I... Oh, yeah. Okay, I had the hit stun that saved me there. Because I think I would have been just a hair late in pulling out the green shell. 
Okay, fortunately that squid wasn't that bad, and we had hella boosts to save us from Yink. Oh, come on. Are you serious, man? Oh, that blows. That sucks. Ah! Man. Man, oh man. <sighs> Darn, that's tough. That's what I'm saying. It's always these final courses in the in the pre and it's always something in the third lap that just completely tanks it that's what i was talking about with the other cup with the, the only other one of the booster pass that i got two stars on that one was the, the maple tree one always something like that that would just happen at the end even though that kind of screwed me i, I still i still like mount wario I would put that as one of the top tracks in the game, actually, to be honest. But it's okay. We're, we're aiming high, we're aiming for perfection, and all we really need to get is one star on everything here. By the way, I should uh, mention, we'll probably do four cups in this video, four cups in each video, so we'll have four total videos uh, in pursuit of this, uh, this uh, downloadable part of this. And I should mention that uh, these first four cups here are exclusively new stuff. Right? You can see the little uh, little tags on all these that show which ones are new and which ones are um, a little bit uh, from past games. Right? You can see that one's from DS and 3DS and N64 and so on. So anyway, we'll do the special cup here. We already got one star uh, from some time in the past that I probably attempted this, but just for just for completion and just to just for fun, just to show off all the courses, we'll go ahead and knock this one out. And of course, see if we can get um see if we can get that three stars. It'll be a shame to do all this and then only get one star, which we already had. But this is, I would say, another fantastic cup. Not not um not a snoozer in any of these guys. Cloud Top Cruise. This one's fun. I, lo I love the airship part. I missed the boost. That suck. I think there were some levels that were like had this like cloud aesthetic in Mario Galaxy. And yeah, we're inside the, the mothership, Bowser ship right here. We got the lightning. This course has everything. It has clouds, it has like, rain and lightning. You come out into this beautiful, like, gigantic beanstalk. <laughs> whatever. Whatever you want to call this. Oh, almost fell off there. Yeah, some of these courses are so ingrained in my head, I just have like a preferred side, especially when the path diverges, you can go left or right. Like, for some reason in my head, I always want to go left. I don't know what makes me do that. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I, I wanted to run into the lightning there, because I, I knew that the impact of that would be less than that of the, the blue shell. What I really need to get good at is when I know a blue shell is coming, if I'm able to time it uh, correctly, if I have a banana, and I can throw the banana forward and then run into the banana and just take the hit from the banana and hopefully if I've timed it right, I can be in hit stun um, and not have to worry about getting hit by the- or not, not have to worry about the consequences of the of the blue shell. Oh, yep, that was not intentional. Okay, <laughs> somehow that complete stupidity just saved me. The best case is trying to pull off that scenario is obviously you save yourself from the blue shell hit and you only take the banana hit. The worst case is you take the blue shell, or you take the banana hit and then you, you timed it too early or whatever, and then you take the blue shell hit on top of that. And I guess the medium case is you just end up wasting a banana because the trick doesn't work, but I think it's wor a worthwhile gamble. Alright, this is 
fun one. I, I, I really like these ones that are... I, I always like the desert courses and the ones that have this like very sunset lighting where it's super saturated, all the colors really pop here. It's just like very, very red and orange. You get that like that earthy, clay, sand vibes. You get to like these, uh, all these extinct species. You have those like tusks sticking out from the top. You have all the, the uh, zombie piranha plant things. Get that. Oh, I already have an item. That was stupid. Bail ourselves out with that mushroom here. Oh, and bail ourselves back in with bad, bad handling. Oh lord! Oh my god! Okay. Terrible start there. Okay. Ah. It's good, good. That's alright. There's still. Plenty of game left here. I don't know if those zombie plants, uh, if they bite you, if you... Oh, I just saw it, yeah. He does. Alright, see that banana save me from the red shell. Unintentional. Somehow I'm fifth! Alright, what is happening? Let's try to fix that. Oh, almost got him there. Oh my god, I missed that second time I missed that. I missed that shot right there. It's okay. Yeah, this is very tricky with the, the patches of uh, sand that slow you down. Yeah, right here is going to be the part for us. Oh my god. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> that is tough. All right. Uh, a little bit disappointing. Alright, so now the best we can get is two stars. But, yeah, it's always the tracks that kick my ass that that I um, end up loving the most. That giant Bowser statue is one of the coolest single like prop things in the in the entire game. Yeah, I like how that, that um the little gate opens right as the the game starts. That's fun. Uh, I shouldn't I shouldn't trick off of that. Like, once if you trick off of that you have no chance of making Oh no. Okay. Alright we're struggling. Struggling early. Oh, okay. Woo! Those brakes. Those brakes were screeching, man. I should probably... Yeah, I should probably burn the green shells, because at fifth place I can get way better items. But it's okay, we're first place now. Yeah, green shells in first place is fantastic to have. Green shells in fifth place, not as much. Oh my god! I didn't release the. I didn't release the uh, drift, so I. Same freaking thing I crashed into the first time. Oh god. Hurts when you make the same mistake more than once. Yeah, if you're. You can, yeah, you can try to drive directly into Bowser's fist, because then the ripples will give you um, something. Uh, to, to trick off of there. Okay. Oh my goodness, man! Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, I somehow ended up first still how that happened. Oh, I thought that totally would, like, stagger me or something. I, I don't think that's, I think that's literally the first time I've ever crashed into the Bowser's fist there. Okay, now I'm screwed. Oh my goodness, okay. That's a terrible, a terrible fate for me. 
All right, well, we've knocked ourselves out of uh, out of any star contention here. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a good thing we already had a star in our back pocket, I suppose. Yeah, that one was that sloppy play. It was that that turn that I I messed up in the the very first part of lap four. Okay. So this is the Rainbow Road that was uh, created specifically for this game. There's like with the booster pass, I think there's like five total or six total Rainbow Roads. This is of course the only one that's uh, fully brand new. I mean, the other ones are I mean, they're technically from other games, but realistically they've they've added they've added so much content and changed so much oh god uh, content that it doesn't doesn't really matter here. You, you, you can call a lot of them, uh, brand new. Okay. Hey man, 200cc, no freaking joke. Alright, let's try to knock out one of these dudes. Sure, probably. Fortunately, the worst track to get a star on... Oh, it put me way back there. Goodness, okay. What do I do with mushrooms on fucking Rainbow Road, man? <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's not even point in like drifting or tricking or anything. This is just brutal. All right, we're somehow not doing abhorrently. Just gotta. This is all about control. I shouldn't even hit those anti-gravity things because that can give me enough of a boost to mess me up, really. All right, let's try to get you out the way, sir. I, you know what? I I probably should have lived longer in second place, just from a blue shell standpoint. Yeah. See, even if I mash on the brakes there, I just get destroyed. It's just too fast, man. Yeah, see that? Oh god, that wheel changes direction every every uh, lap here. All right, he's on the lower track. What the fuck am I fourth? Oh. Oh, how did? Where did he come from, man? Where did he come from? Okay, so we end up tied. Wow. Okay, is that a silver or a gold? Not getting a gold is pretty, pretty bad, man. Well, we end on a down note. But I would say that that two cup stretch where we had the. Um, the Star Cup and the Special Cup, I think that is that is the best stretch in the game. Really, those are just eight eight tracks that just all slap. I mean, of course, I do appreciate the Mario Kart, the Mario, the Mario Stadium, and the Mario Circuit, and all those uh, you know more basic like bare bones type of courses. They have their place, but I mean, this is where Mario Kart's like at its peak. When you have courses like that that have themes that have um, you know, all these things. Oh, they somehow still gave me a, um, gold for doing terribly. So, okay, so that's the first set of four cups. Those are the ones that had the all new courses. So we'll leave it there. We have at least accomplished our mission so far, kind of, in getting at least one star, uh, for each of them. And we'll pick it up next time, uh, with some more retro tracks and even more Mario Kart 8.